speech chapter on identities. I uh, can't emphasize how important this chapter is. Uh, this is one of the cornerstones, cornerstones of any self-respecting trick class in the entire world. Uh, if you're going to take a decent trick class, you got to do it. You got to know your identities. So, so this is an incredibly important chapter. This is an incredibly important section where we actually introduce them. Uh, the things that we've got to explain here is uh, there are several. First, is what's an identity? What's not an identity? Uh, second, how do you recognize them? If something is an identity, how do you prove that it's an identity? And when something's not an identity, how do you prove it's not an identity? And uh, and then next, some practice proving identity, some examples. That's what we got to do today, more or less. So to explain uh, what an identity is, uh, I, I'm going to try to explain uh, what an identity is. Um, yeah, I got to get that word out of my vocabulary. Not try. I'm going to explain in the best way that it has ever been explained exactly what an identity is. I'm going to do it by posing two different points of view of an identity. Okay? You guys should get that word out of your vocabulary too. Um, we need more do and less try. All right, so let's do it. Uh, I thought, uh, I've never done this before, but I thought a good way to introduce an identity would be with a little story um, uh, about my childhood. I, I remember when I was a little kid, we used to live in a very rural area, away from civilization. There was no electricity, no running water. Um, there was a well in the middle of the town, and uh, we would my, my mom would send us to get water. It was really, really rural, but, but there was some, some life. I, uh, in fact, here, I've, I've got a picture of me. That's me when I was a little kid, uh, um, funny, wearing a fake mustache that I bought at a co corner store that was right around this corner. And that's my bro, Pamphilo. He's awesome. Uh, and, and we lived in a very rural area. Uh, this is made out of dirt. Um, but every once in a while, we would go and visit the city. And, and we would go visit the city. And in the city, a big city, Guadalajara. And my aunt lived in Guadalajara. This is my aunt, uh, uh, Raquel. And uh, she would tell me stories about identities, believe it or not. Uh, back then, I, I didn't know that they were identities, but but now I do. It took me, uh, you know, several decades to figure it out that she was what she was doing. She was exactly preparing me for for this moment when when uh, when I had to explain in the best possible way what an identity is. And um, I'll try to reenact the story for you. Here's what, what she would do. She would say, "Hey, Javier." Uh, that, Javier was my name before I became the hands. Before I used to be all of this, everything now I'm just the hands. She say, "Hey, Javier," and I say, uh, "Yes, tía Raquel, may I help you?" And then uh, well, it was in Spanish, and she say, "Hey, I got a magical trick for you," and she would start off spilling this magical trick for me. And I say, "What?" And she would play this magical trick, and she would say something like this: She would say, "Hey, Javier, uh, I'm gonna." Play some magic on you. Watch this. I can get. I can read your mind. I can know exactly what you're thinking. And I'd say, no way. And she'd say, yes way. And she said, watch this. Think of a number, and I'm going to tell you exactly which number you're thinking about. And I said, okay, try me. So she would say, think of a number, and uh, I'm going to write the instructions here, so you guys can play along here. You guys can think of a number. Think of a number. Any number would do, but just to make the computations easy. You can make it any number from 1 to 10, or 1 to 20, whatever. Uh, and I would say, okay, I thought about the number. And she'd say, don't tell me what it is. I'm going to tell you what it is. I'm going to guess for you. And I'd say, okay, let's see. Show me what you got, dear. And, uh, and she'd say, think of a number. And then she'd say, uh, double it. Double it. And so I'd say, okay, I'll double it. And so in my mind, I would double it. And then she'd say, um, add add to that, add 10 to it. And I said, okay, I added 10 to it. And then, you guys should be keeping along too, by the way. Think of a number, double it, and add 10 to it. And then she would say something like, um, uh, cut whatever you got, cut it in half. Um, and so I would cut it in half, you know, divide it by two. And then, and then she would say, uh, she would say something like this, subtract Subtract the original number that you thought of. Original number that I thought that you thought of, and she'd say, "Javier, I know exactly what number you're thinking about." And I said, "No way." And she'd say, "Yes way." And she'd say, "You're thinking of five. And I said, "Whoa, how'd you do that, Thea?" And she said, 
I'm a magician. That's why they pay me. She's the one that taught me that phrase. That's why they pay me, she would say. Um, I got the mojo, the charm. I say, whoa, wow. And uh, I never forgot that for some reason. This was you know, close to 30 years ago. And, and I never forgot that. And, and now I look back and I think, this is exactly what she was doing. She has an identity in mind. So, with that being said, we, we've got to address the question here. What exactly are identities? And so, so one way to, to see what identities are, they are uh, formulas. They are formulas. Uh, some sense formulas or that contain equality. So in some, say, uh, some sense, you could say maybe you could call them equations. The formulas that have equations that are always true. And we'll leave this one for last. Like I said, um, whoa. Let's backtrack. Where was I? Hold on, technical difficulty. Let's get my aunt out of there. What are you doing, aunt? You're messing it up for me. Uh, all right. Um, so, 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 one way to interpret these identities is that they are formulas or equations that are true for all applicable uh, values. For all po uh, applicable values, Mo what this means is that usually they'll have variables. The equations or formulas will have variables, and the equations are true no matter what the value of the variable you put in there. It doesn't matter. If you put in the variable 5, it's true. If you put in the variable 7, it doesn't matter. For all applicable values, it's true. And applicable, I'll say more about that later, but uh, let, let's see how, how exactly this per, this relates to the story. What in the world was 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 um, my uh, Tia Raquel doing? Think of a number, all right? So, so if you think of a number... Let me see if we can copy this and paste it onto where I have more room. So let's copy. Let's go to a new page. Let's see if we can paste that. All right. So, so what's going on here? Let's see. I'm gonna put this off in a corner. Um, so, so I can carry out the math here. What in the world was going on here? So she would say, "Think of a number." All right. Uh, let's call that um, X. And then double it, well, that's 2 times x. And then you add 10 to it, that would be 2 times x plus 10. And then you cut it in half, you would divide that by 2. And then you subtract the original number that you thought of. That's subtract the original x. And she's telling me that no matter what original number I thought of, this is always equal to 5. And I'm thinking, no way. So you try it. Uh, what if I had thought about, uh, what if, let's try one case here. What if x had been 3? If x had been 3, you would have doubled it. That would have given you 6. 6 plus 10 is 16. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 8, you take away the original 3, that's 5. Whoa, it works for 3. No way. Oh, no, we didn't. Oh, yes, we did. What if x had been equal to 10 originally? Now, let's go big. What if, what if we had the original number that you thought about was 20? I don't think it would work here. Let's try it. 20 times 2. How much is 20 times 2? Use your calculator. 40 plus 10. That's 50. That's 50. Cut in half. Follow the instructions. Cut in half. That's 25. 25. And subtract the original number that you thought of. Subtract the 20. That gives you 5. OMG. It works for x equals 20 as well. What if we pick some weird number like say x equals 11? Oh, I don't think it'll work here. Let's try it. If x equals 11, 2 times it gives you 22, plus 10 gives you 32, divided by 2 gives you 16. 16, take away the original number. 16, take away 11. OMG. Oh no, this is not happening. This formula right here is incredible. This is the formula that my aunt was thinking about. It works. It works for every single value of x that you can think about. Um, well, as long as you don't get too crazy, I don't know, like x. Let's just say it works for all good x, all real number x's. Okay, for sure, it works for all real number x's. Um, and that, my friends, that formula, this equation is true for which x's? For all uh, applicable x's. I should put a little asterisk here. 
because I don't really mean all, all, all. I mean all applicable excess, and I'll tell you more about that little star thing asterisk later. But anyways, this is a really, really good formula. It works no matter what x is, so it wouldn't have matter which number you thought about. If you had thought about 3, it would have worked. If you had thought about 20, it would have worked. If you had thought about 11, it would have worked. And the suspicion, although we haven't proved it, is that it'll work for all possible values of x. If it does, then that's what we call an identity. And that's the first characterization of an identity. When somebody stops you and says, hey, can you explain to me what is, what is an identity? One way to characterize it is to say, hey, an identity is a formula or an equation that's true for all possible values of x, all possible values of the, of the uh, uh, all applicable values of the variables. And again, I got to explain more about all because there's some little minor exceptions, but uh, I don't want to, I don't want to go down that road right now. So, so this is a good, a good, very, very strong and very well-founded way to think about identities. Identities are equations that are, are true for all possible values of uh, x. So for example, uh, taking a number, doubling it, adding 10 to it, subtracting, uh, no, cutting it in half, and then subtracting the original number, that will always, always, always give you 5 no matter what. Okay? Thank you, Tia Raquel. That's awesome. All right, but that's not, that's not, there's, uh, I, there's more because I got another excellent uh, way of um, explaining what an identity is. Well, more than just what it is, is what it, if you look at it the second way, you, you actually get more than just what it is. It, you get a way of um, um, seeing what it's good for. So, so let me tell you another story, second story. Okay? <clears throat> 